In today's episode, we are discussing what is one of the most frustrating things you've had to overcome in music. You know, music isn't always easy. I'm going to dive in today to discover frustrating things. Here we go. Hey there, music makers. I'm Hayes Griffin. And I'm Magnus Sedlund. And welcome to the Mandolin Secrets Podcast, a show where we take a deeper look at what's happening in the world of Mandolin Secrets. Each episode, we'll tackle our questions of the week, unpack the latest Mandolin Secrets lessons, and answer your questions about mandolin, guitar, and all things music. In this week's episode, we'll be discussing... (laughs) In this week's episode, we'll be discussing what is one of the most frustrating things you've had to overcome in music, and how did you do it? What does your practice routine look like right now? And what type of pick do you prefer, and why? Before we get into all that, though, be sure to head to mandolinsecrets.com forward slash podcast to sign up for reminders about our upcoming episodes. Just search Mandolin Secrets Podcast on your favorite podcast platform and subscribe to get updates when we release new content. All right, and I'm actually curious to dive into this question. What is the most frustrating things you had to overcome in music and how do you do it? And to be honest, it's hard for me to pick out one single thing, but I have a few things that I would like to share. Uh, how about you, Hayes? Is there is there one most frustrating thing, or what is it like? I, I would say that there's definitely like a a, a top three <laughs> for me. You know, it's like like you said, it's hard to pick out one. But um, you've actually been with me uh, for for the journey on one of the most frustrating points uh, related to right hand technique and stuff. But yeah. Um, yeah, that's that's definitely where I'm at too. Mm. And um, I guess the follow-up is how did you overcome it, and how how did you do it, sort of, to get past it? Yeah, or is it, are you past it, or you're stuck with it? <laughs> I, so, yeah, I guess to go a little deeper into it, um, it was about three years ago. I got really interested, or or like my interest was revitalized in improving my like speed technique on, on mandolin and guitar. And Mm -hmm. I I, I just kept thinking, I'm like, there are so many people I know that just seem to be like regular people that can play 140 to 160 beats per minute. And I can't do it, but there must be something obvious or, or simple that I'm missing to get this. Mm. Um, And that was frustrating. I mean, we're talking about, I've been playing guitar since I was eight. I was made aware of speed playing around the age of 16. I'm 36 now. So I guess like 20 years of not Mm. knowing, you know, what to do with this. Um, But you've been with me, like I said, for for kind of the most crucial points of that journey. Um, Mm -hmm. So if we get to the how did I overcome the speed technique Mm. thing, Mm. I I feel like there were two things. One of Mm. them was an awareness of right hand anatomy that was provided by a Troy Grady video on YouTube. Mm -hmm. That one really like mentally unlocked something for me. Mm. And then the second thing that helped me kind of, I'll say overcome the issue, but I still feel like I'm on this path. I still feel like I'm honing this skill. Yeah. Um, But another thing that really helped me unlock that and, be able to practice this skill every day was mm. mindfulness training and like body awareness mm. and things like that. I, I feel like yeah. that was a huge component missing from my musical practice in general, not yeah. just like this, this mm. specific technique, but um, yeah, but I, it kind of makes sense to me because also the way I see it, it's difficult to kind of push through to play faster because yeah. it's it, it it's cause if you're starting to push through it's sort of uh, uh, we're almost f- putting obstacles for ourselves how to <laughs> yeah. get there you have to let go actually to play faster right mm, not mm. push yeah it's, yeah it's this weird inverse relationship like that yeah well i can also relate to that a lot and for me it's been this thing i that yes uh, accepting that i i don't necessarily have to play so cleanly to that 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 has improved my speed and i know i i'm i'm well that is this is not one of my strengths and it's not like something that i'm uh 
I haven't really cracked the code <laughs> to play fast and cleanly, but I, so for me it's like just accepting that fast is enough for me at the moment. <laughs> I think I'm with you on that one. If fast and clean, that's, you know, that's that's a, a bit much right now. <laughs> Well, I think you you definitely f further along on that than me, but but it, that's just that's interesting, and I think also for people listening to it, just the fact that you the thing that you're actually uh, revealing there that when when you were sixteen, the speed speed playing was in your awareness, and it took like twenty years, and it's still something. So it's just yeah. a reminder of. Like, um, when we're into what we are doing, being a music maker, I mean, it's things can take time to really get, pass through, and it, it's not about it's not about like checking things off the list, skills or it, it's like a continuous um, work, sort of. Absolutely, yeah. I, I think uh, it's to me the the kind of analogy or, or the meta what do I want to say the the kind of connection to mindfulness training mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. is very analogous between like speed playing because mindfulness training is like never over you know no, there's no like no. end to that it's it's no. more about like the continuous cultivation yeah you know? yeah um, so speed is definitely at least one of those things for me right now maybe it's not mm -hmm. for Chris Thiele or Jacob Jolliffe but <laughs> no no, of course. I mean, it's probably different, uh, different things for all players, of course. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching this highlight video. If you want to watch the entire episode, you can do it inside Mandolin Secrets Academy. Or you can also go to like your favorite podcast platform and listen to an audio version of this podcast episode. You can also go to our website to listen to the podcast. The web address is mandolinsecrets.com forward slash podcast. And always remember, be a music maker. Mm -hmm.